Number 41. Nitrogen and oxygen react at high temperatures. Then we have letter B. It says, what will happen to the concentrations of N2, O2, and NO at equilibrium if more O2 is added? Okay, so here's Le Chatelier's principle. We basically have to see what the effects are at equilibrium when we mess up the system. And in this case, how we're messing up the system is we're adding more O2. Now, according to Le Chatelier's principle, this will only matter if the O2, what you're adding, is either a gas or aqueous. But definitely the O2, it says right here, it's, it's a gas. So I am going to go with Le Chatelier's principles. So now over here, I wrote down the important piece of information we need. So anytime that you increase an amount, you have way too much, right? You increase the amount, you went over the limit of equilibrium, you got way too much. So to counteract that, you need to bring it back down. And in order to do that, you got to shift to the opposite side. So I'm increasing the O2. So now we just have to counteract it. I want to get rid of the O2 and come back to equilibrium. So I will shift to the opposite side. This is a reactant. So you will shift to the products. And now if I do that, let's see. I will erase that because I want to come back down at equilibrium. And if I'm going towards the product, this is going to increase and these are going to decrease. So the NO will increase. And since these are both gases and they're both reactants, these will decrease. And now you have your answer. So the concentration, you could just put this in brackets, the concentration of N2 would decrease, the concentration of O2 would decrease, and then the concentration of NO would increase. And that are your final answers. Pretty simple, right guys? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. There's a ton more Le Chatelier principle questions coming your way, so hang tight and we will get to them. I will see you all for part C. Okay, see you in a little bit.